everybody, it's Tori from Goodie Beads, and Candy is here, and she's gonna give us a quick tip on how to use a dye pick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Tori? I'm just gonna roll a piece of leather Please through. Please do. This is one of those situations. You've got your movers and shapers dies, and some of them have more intricate um, designs than others. And this is something that I have had to learn the hard way because do you really want to stop and clean or do you want to keep making you stuff? You want to keep making stuff. <laughs> That's right. So on some of these dies, I may have been doing a little bit too much of the making and not, a, uh, not enough maintenance on the die itself. Mm. But what happens is, is you've cut your piece. You can use this die pick in a couple ways. It's got a sharp little end to it. You can use it to pull out these little intricate shapes to help kind of pick things around nice. and out and about. And then also you can see that I've got quite a bit of older leather yeah. and material stuck down in the actual die itself. Mm -hmm. So you want to use this tool more free well, sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> more frequently than I have to get those pieces, look at that, to get those pieces of thick leather oh. out. One of the great things about movers and shapers is they can cut thicker leathers, but you need to maintain, if you wanna maintain the mm -hmm. quality of the yep. cuts, you gotta stop and clean. Well, thank you, Candy, that's a great tip. You're welcome, Tori.